Hi, I'm Nancy Quinn. I get a lot of questions about Montana's winter climate. For those of you who haven't experienced extreme weather in the Rocky Mountain region, I thought I'd show you how we handle a winter storm. The snow was really starting to accumulate and we were experiencing below zero temperatures which were rapidly falling. It was my intention to record some video commentary outside, but by the time we had set up our equipment, the wind had turned vicious and I could no longer feel my fingers or nose. Since frostbite can occur within minutes, I abandoned my idea and came inside to warm up. It was then that I decided to focus just on the camera work and that would be challenging enough. Even the deer were running for cover. This much snow means we have to plow. My husband Bill is just pulling the tractor out and trying to clear a path. This storm is quite severe and he may have to plow from three to six times a day to keep our mile of mountain road clear. It's tedious work, but the tractor has a heater, a radio, and a CD player. That does make the job a little more comfortable. On the flat area, the only challenge is not hitting the house. But as he progresses down the mountain, it becomes more dangerous. More than once, he has gotten stuck or slid off the road and been forced to walk home for help. As you can see, the snow is really piling up and becoming harder to move. At times like this, clearing a path to the highway is the main priority. The parking area and the side paths will have to wait. No matter what the weather, the horses, Whiskey and Wilson, must be fed. But this time, the girls informed me that we were out of Whiskey's special feed at the barn. <sighs> With Bill busy plowing elsewhere, and the temperatures still dropping, we did what any resourceful mountain girl would do. We loaded the extra feet on the sled, and the girls dragged it through the knee-deep snow to the corral. If the heavy snows continue all day, we will have to plow after dark. Within a day or two, the sun always comes out, and so do the deer. Even with the sub-zero temperatures, the sun warms the snow in the tree branches, and we see a lovely sight. As it melts, the snow drops to the ground like a waterfall. I think of it as one of my two rewards for enduring a bitter winter storm. My other reward is enjoying a cup of hot chocolate. I have a great recipe in episode 15, so I hope you check it out. Thanks for visiting us on the mountain. If you want to enjoy more of our Western experiences, I can loan you a snow shovel. Or it might be easier to read my book, Go West, Young Woman. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit the links posted below. Much obliged for watching.